Hey everyone, this is Disk Junkie, and today I'm here to show you the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in a very, very old pre cert version from the US. And this is released by a company called Wizard Video. And it's, uh, it's a release back from 1982. And I think this is uh, actually one of the first versions ever uh, to be released on VHS. Uh, I'm not entirely sure when the UK versions was released, but uh, this is... Uh, the first ever American release of the movie. As you can tell, it's actually, you know, it's quite a worn copy and you know, you don't find these in mint condition today. Uh, I highly doubt uh, anyone has it in like, you know, pristine condition. But um, yeah, this is, uh, you know, fairly good condition for its age. And as you can tell, we get a glossy printed cover, which is pretty good because, you know, it doesn't take too much damage from stickers and such, so that's always good. And um, what's uh, sort of unusual about this, or you know, maybe it was common back in those days, but usually, you know, I haven't seen it done that way. Uh, you'll notice that this uh, VHS box is actually uh, all sealed, you know, there's no, uh, there's no opening at the top or the bottom, you know, it's all, every side has its own, you know, paper part or how you want to explain it. But, uh, well, can just check the spine here real quick. The spine on the other side is basically the same. I can just turn it over for the back cover. So here we go. Okay, and then it says running time 86 minutes, so that is 86 minutes in the NTSC format. So you know this is not a longer version it is uncut it's uh, you know the standard uncut version but you know i, I think it's 83 minutes in the uh, pal uh, running time but uh, here it is 86 minutes and anyway gonna try to open this just trying to remember what side i'm usually opening it on i think it's this side okay so here we go pulling it out we got you know it's quite an awful case in terms of you know it has these all these flaps uh you know every which way so uh, you know, these are so brittle today. I mean, I could basically blow on them and they will just fall off. So I'm going to try to be extra careful reviewing this. And just in case anybody's curious, this is what the carton looks like on the inside. So yeah, very, very thin cardboard, you know, nothing sturdy at all, but uh, basically standard for the time, I guess. So uh, we can just take a closer look at the actual tape. So there you go. And, uh, well, uh, not a lot of other markings on the tape. We do have a small sticker there, you know, just sort of a guarantee kind of seal thing. And, um, oh yeah, here's a small sticker which reads WZ034, which I think, uh, yeah, it corresponds with the um, 034 labeling on the outside of the carton. So I guess that's sort of an ID for the, uh, for the tape. And... Uh, 120 minutes running time, that's the length of the tape, and um, yeah, uh, I'm guessing that's pretty much it. I got this on eBay, and uh, it's, you know, it's quite a rare object to find today, and I was really happy to get it. Like I said, extremely brittle, and I think you're gonna have a really hard time finding this in, uh, in as good condition as this, actually, because this is... Uh, you know, despite being very, very fragile and uh, worn at the edges, this is uh, in pretty damn good uh, condition, actually. I mean, being as it was was released in 1982, I mean, come on. And yeah, as you can tell, I can't really close this on camera and I'm getting stressed. But anyway, that's it for me today. And I want to thank you very much for watching. And as usual, I hope to see you all next time.